Hey guys, Zero here, back with another can call tutorial. This is part three of the series. This is going to be about the can call command center. It's a plugin for Google Chrome. Unfortunately, no other um, platforms that I know of use it. So as long as you have Google Chrome, you should be able to use this. Uh, it is made by Dragon Jet and the K3, KC3 team. Sorry, <laughs> And so it is a game viewer for uh, can call to make it easier to work with. It's also a lot of information that you can play with uh, with that, so you understand the game much more. So the installation is pretty simple, but setup may be uh, a little iffy here and there. So uh, what you want to do is obviously download it from the Google Chrome, uh, sorry, for Google Chrome from the Chrome Store. So I'll leave this link in the description below. You just hit add to Chrome, but mine's already added. I'll just activate it and we'll go to that tab. All right, now that you've installed Cancol, uh, the KC3 plugin, we got a small icon here. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm gonna guess like we're gonna be flower petals, I'll call them for this video. Uh, and what you can do, uh, just click on it, and you have all these various options here. You can play Cancol, Strategy Room, Settings, and then About the Developers. I'll just click on that just to show you credits for where it's due. And then now, to start playing, you can just click and go, uh, but uh, we'll go through the settings just so you understand what you can do. So here, uh, apply customization, so that's in the settings menu. On-screen subtitles also is in the settings menu you can check out. Press translations, very important because you want to get your rewards. Map node markers and exit information. Uh, confirmation means if you close it, it'll ask you, you know, do you want to exit this page? Yes or no. That's pretty simple. So first, let's go to the settings, click here, little flower petals. KC3 settings. All these should be self-explanatory. Obviously, your language is your language. HQ XP info tells you how much XP you uh, need or maybe uh, have already gained in total for your uh, HQ. Time, res time display types, how much time it is until uh, your fi ship finishes repair or building. So you can do that. Or maybe just it tells you what time it is going to be finished for. Uh, another one that I know that can definitely help. All these are self explanatory hopefully. Game formula, no. Screenshots, you can take screenshots with this. So you can download them, put them on the imager, or just open the new tab, then save it from there. You can change that. Uh, another one you can change is game window. Quest translations, you want Quest, uh, Google Translate feedback, I'm not sure what that does, but I know Quest translations are very important. Again, I mentioned that a lot in my other video. Uh, here's top margin. Uh, what you can do is actually move the game window, since it's like normally, um, you know, near the top of the window at the, can the actual uh, DMM website. Uh, you can move it down. I moved it down 250 pixels from the top there. You can use use background colors. There's a hexadecimal, just so you know. And then I have an image here that I use from background instead because I kind of felt like it. So let me just actually show you what it is. Uh, you actually just follow that link too, but I'll paste it here. But boom, it's Star Guardian Lux because let's go full weeb here, okay? <laughs> And then background position, top center, it should be like a 1080, so it should fit quite well in the window. Uh, change the game scale. I would not put it actually higher than 100% because the game is actually super low res. Looks real bad. Your waifu won't look so good. Please don't change that to over 100%. And then you change what kind of subtitles. I like the bottom fixed game screen. You have it like fade when uh, you move over it, or maybe it moves to the top when you hover over it, so it doesn't... Uh, you know, obstruct your play of uh, the game here. Subtitle with ship name. I'm not sure these don't help me so far. No markers I know, but subtitle with ship name. Um, not found anything helpful with that yet. Uh, so DMM options, you can force the cookie hack. So the cookie hack that I uh, showed in my other video, this could actually just go around that instead. Uh, but I don't know, it might be just easier to go through that instead of trying to install this and then go through that. But you know, all power, what do you want to do? Then here's all send data. So if you want to send data for feedback, uh, you can check these or uncheck these. Uh, I guess it really helps the developer understand what's going on or other players understand what's going on as well or um, uh, stats. Now we have panel. So this panel, uh, you should know, is actually gonna be the console panel that we've used before we've put that cookie hack in. Uh, this is actually gonna be where you can get all your extra info Let's see, such as, I don't know, fleet supply at a glance, moral, uh, morale, uh, HP, ship repair progress, uh, ship construction uh, 
progress, as well as if you want to cheat, uh, you can actually uh, have it show the ship's portrait, maybe just a portrait, and you can hover over for the name, or just nothing at all if you want some mystery in there. Uh, the timer always does tell you, again, uh, if you have checked the Kanko Wiki, there is a list of um, ship times and which ships would likely be built if the time correlates with what you are given. You also have two themes here, you can put a dark theme, plain theme. Plain is just like a plain white, simplistic, not, not, not Syrio, I can't even say that, <laughs> not Syrio, uh, not Suro, not Suro, is more of a darker theme, but you can make change the opacity, you can add your own uh, background image to it if you want, I have mine set over here, boop 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 from uh, your name, it's pretty nice, I like this art, it is super high res if anyone wants to download it through this as well, use it for your phone background maybe, I don't know, whatever you feel like that, uh, other custom CSS, I don't know that stuff, but uh, strategy room is the other thing will give you a lot of info, I will show you that later, but let's get started here, so when you want to play Can Cole, you know, if you click, 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 click the <laughs> final, yeah. now if you want to play Can Cole, you want to click the flower petals over here, and then click play Can Cole, It'll get to this page here, and it'll tell you how to start the game. Uh, best thing to do is then just press F12 uh, for Google Chrome, and either you'll have a tab already up here, or you need to click these arrows, and then drop down to can call. You switch the can call thing, Wait, game, waiting for game action. There's my wallpaper right there for that. There's Star Guardian Lux. It's a really ugly setup. I just am a big weeb, okay? So, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, it's gonna wait for that. And as you can see, it already has some translations down here. And this is all your game info once you're in. Come on. I believe in you. So I do have to admit, it's kind of cheating to know maybe what ship you got, or maybe understand more about morale than you should. Because the ships, uh, if you go on too many expeditions or maybe too many battle missions, uh, they will stop wanting to go, which is kind of uh, funny, but they're anthro ships, so that makes sense. It's just like fatigue on real ships, I guess. So that's probably why they have that in place. So in this HQ over here, the, uh, the command center, you can actually see uh, your basic info, like your buckets, your, I don't know what that is actually, but your supplies, you can change it by clicking on it. Uh, these are gonna be your slots for your pair and your uh, construction ships. This will show the other two or three uh, fleets so you have because you can show your main fleet here So main second third. I've only got three not the fourth yet. Unfortunately, you can check out your combined fleet uh, and then you have your Air force airborne. I can't oh it doesn't hover. No, okay. That's fine But yeah, and it helps a lot with quests because I click quests right here and that is a little bit of a glitch, but you know, look over that, you're not going to see that much. Uh, they can show you your quests, you have your other one-time one quests, your monthly, weekly, daily quests. And then this one it shows you which ones you have selected. And what's really great, again, I'm sure you've noticed, is down here, uh, it can show you um, your current quests and, you know, the explanation if you hover over that as well. So, for example, let's see. Yeah, if I, let me think of an example here. Actually, it'll show what your supplies and morale uh, HP. So you can check on them. You can hover over each one. That should be all I have for that in this gameplay section. Next, we can check over about the whoops, not that this guy here to the strategy room. So with this, I chose the dark theme. Uh, I can show you a lot of info, like uh, my can call cool admiral. I'm not sure if that should be private. I'll blur it out in case that shows you my server. My rank, my level, XP until next level. Uh, so my latest uh, stuff that I've done in my newsfeed. I wonder if that's translated actually. I've never actually checked on that. Nope, not there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, some stats about me. Uh, my exp uh, rank points, authority stats. Uh, I can you can export your data, clear data. Helped a lot. Uh, your screenshots, you manage those. Resources, you can check how much how it changes throughout for you. Consumables, check again that experience. See how much you've gained in the latest time. I have not played in a long time on this account, so you can see that nice jump on the 4th, right to about today. Showcase, you can show what ships you got. Uh, let's see, I got ships in my current uh, fleets. So I got all that there. Ledgers to see changes in 
uses of supplies. Ship lists. This is also important. This will help you actually know which ships you need or have. You can sort them by what equipment you have, if they're married or speed. I don't know what Daihatsu is yet, so I, I can't tell you that. Uh, if they've been remodeled, if they have are in a fleet, what kind of range they have, what type of ships they are, like all these. Um, the abbreviations are going to be hard to try to swallow. Uh, I'll explain definitely those later. Uh, but DD for sure I can tell you is destroyer BBs or battleships. Um, CVs I think are carriers. Gosh, there's a lot of jumble here that I will definitely help you guys out next time. Listed ships, 50 of 50. Oh yeah, shows how many I got too. Uh, construction, see what I've made and who is my top, like my uh, flagship actually. What's good to know uh, is that uh, when you're constructing, flagships actually matter to maybe what you can get as well. Now see large construction, Ooh, I don't have any of that yet. Docking what is in the dock right now. Leveling, I'm not sure what that is. Badges, not sure what that is. Blueprints, I actually don't know either. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's to help you remodel your ships though. That'd be the best idea I have. Equipment list is what you have for equipment and where who has what equipped. The crafting, good lord, shows me crafting history. Aircrafts, I have two, uh, both on Nakagi, which well, is a great, great carrier, by the way. If uh, you're playing, I am so happy I got her. She's, uh, I think, number six, uh, like ship number six in the collection. Akashi is like the store that you buy stuff. I didn't buy anything. A fleet manager, you can help manage your fleets here. Uh, check out what kind of stats you got and what speed they are too. Ooh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Okay, because slow means well. I have a lot of battleships here. <laughs> I'll admit. So they got Congo, got Fusio, Fuso, Fuso. I got Atago. Like they're, mmm, they're they're battleships. <laughs> Locking. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, maybe lock it for you to manual lock. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Quest flow charts. See which ones you've already done, which you haven't, and which ones actually flow in the others. Quad ships. Oh, lord for those quests. Woo! I don't have a lot of them yet. Battle on maps here. Events, encounters, history, scorer. Hmm, I don't know what scorer is, but there we go. Uh, that should be everything, I believe. Uh, you should need to know about uh, the Ken Cole Command Center. If there's anything else, I'll probably make a new video. Yeah. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.